So before we begin this video, we'd like to say hi and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We're really happy that our Big Ben video gained a lot of people's attention and we've been seeing and replying to all of your comments. We really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to give us any support as well as tips and tricks. Now, if you weren't aware yet, we just started this trip and it's our first time camping or doing any outdoors activity for that matter. So everything's very new to us, especially knowing the proper names like national parks, state parks, national forests, state forests and such. But please enjoy our videos as we love sharing them and don't hesitate to give us any suggestions. And we're trying our best to do the right thing and research as much as we can to provide you guys with correct information. And speaking of, one of our viewers kindly pointed out to us that it's pronounced Gila and not Gila National Forest. So excuse us throughout this video as we were saying Gila. But nonetheless, enjoy the video and subscribe for our future adventures. Hey guys, welcome to the video. After spending a couple of nights on BLM land in the southern part of New Mexico, we decided to drive up north and we're in Gila National Forest. We wanna go towards Arizona, so we just decided let's go north, let's go through Gila National Forest into Arizona. Tonight, we have something really exciting planned, which is we're gonna be spending one night at the Gila Hot Springs. So we're pretty excited about that. Springs, it's actually privately owned, so we made a reservation before coming here. We actually extended another yeah. night, so we'll be here for the next two nights, so it should be fun. We're situated right next to the Gila River. It's really nice. We're gonna, you know, set up our tent and then we'll show you guys around. Okay, so this is where our camp is situated, right next to the Gila River. How awesome is that? This is so hot right now. Oh, oh boy. If you would have told me a couple of days ago that I'd be in my bathing suit in the middle of the forest. There's snow right there, it's so cold. I wouldn't believe it. It's gonna be the coldest night out of all of our camping days. All of our camping. I might fall asleep here. Yeah, it's gonna be 25 degrees tonight. Well, we're gonna be here for as long as we need to be soaking up tonight today <laughs> and tomorrow yeah so the hot springs were amazing we stayed until after dark and now we are just starting a fire because we're gonna cook some food on it we're doing something really simple though we're just gonna make some ramen but we're gonna just chill for the evening and then tomorrow when we wake up, we're gonna go back into the hot springs again. All right guys, so we just made our ramen. Mine is just regular chicken. Yvonne has creamy chicken. We cooked some chicken and mushroom and we have some scallion and some nori. Hell yeah. All right, so we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna just eat up and we'll see you guys tomorrow. After breakfast, we walked by the river and then back to the hot springs. The 
The following day, we left and drove to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Oh. <laughs> it's not full, is it? Wow. <laughs> Good morning guys. We left our campsite today and we're now going on our first hike <laughs> to see some caves. Getting some elevation now. Oh, yeah. It's a really scenic trail, though. We're almost there. Hewlett Cliff Dwellings National Monument was built and lived in by the Magian people for about 20 years during the late 1200s. Each dwelling had approximately 40 rooms and housed no more than 10 families at a time. Wow. I can't believe people lived here. Doing in here. Maybe this is the kitchen or the jacuzzi. This is what I love love about traveling, where it's like, you know that no matter what, it's part of the history and you're just like, someone probably touched this hundreds of years ago. Like, they Isn't, built this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Time to head back, and this is the way down to the trail again. I mean, it's not the way. Well, it's one of the one ways. One of the ways. Well, obviously, you could go back. This is the cool way. Let's see, like you take those stairs that they made. Mm-hmm. Right there. Used to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. This used to be, on, like stairs too, but yeah. it broke. It's like the tent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to head back to our car and we'll see where we head to next. So we drove down to Silver City and just so we could get some service to kind of find out what we were going to do, um, where we're going to camp. Right now we were just driving towards Walmart and we finally found a place to do a car wash, a hand car wash because our car can't 
actually go through regular car washes because of the rooftop tent. So we found one and we're gonna clean this dirty car who's, oh my God, it's been so dirty. So we were just, I made a left and then all of a sudden there's two cars here and they were doing the watch. This is it, this is what we've been looking for. <laughs> we were gonna pay someone to do this and we're like, oh, but paying for a hand wash is so expensive, but they have it. It's 150. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at how dirty. Look. So dirty. Filthy. Under here. Okay. Look out, look at the, the front. I know. Look at From the front. my feet. Wow, it's so clean. Ah, wow, we appreciate that car wash right now. All right, so we went to Silver City, got some service. Uh, sun's going down, so we're gonna go back to Gila and just find something along one of the roads just to stay for the night. So we're gonna end the video here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. The hot springs are definitely something that we recommend. So if you ever come to Gila, you should uh, definitely find a hot springs. Subscribe for more of our adventures and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.